All right, everybody, Ecom Tom here, back with another video for you guys. And this video is extremely important, so I would make sure to watch it all the way to the end. And this is all about the eBay Spring Seller Update of 2019. And basically, I want to go over that eBay admitted that they were lying to everybody for the last, what is it, five months now. So if you are up to date with the eBay dropshipping and what's going on, everybody's been moving towards the manual dropshipping method. eBay has been flagging accounts, and I'll show you guys proof of this again. But I think this will be the last time I'll show proof of a flagged account. And it's getting a little redundant. But eBay finally admitted in their seller update that there will be lower visibility for people that are doing retail arbitrage based on their new terms of service that they updated in around January of 2019. So this seller update wasn't all just about that. It wasn't all bad. There was some good things in it. And I do want to explain, you know, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The ugly being the fact that they are flagging your accounts if you are using API-related software and drop shipping from retailers. But if you do go the manual method in 2019, you are fine. So I do want to tell you guys that don't worry, but they finally did admit it. Um, they lied to us. If you ever called up a rep, I mean, I'm sure a ton of you guys out there have call up a support rep and they eventually like, oh no, no, I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong with your account. And now they're finally admitting that they are flagging accounts and that they were completely lying to us. So I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain a lot more that happened inside of the seller update. So stay tuned and I'll take you inside my computer. All right, everybody. So here we are inside of my computer and this is the presentation that I made for you guys on the eBay spring seller update. And as always, before we get started, I will be asking you questions and I'm going to be giving you guys opportunities to ask questions as well. So please pause the video if you want to type in your questions, type in your answer to the questions and make sure to post them at the end. Let's get some engagement going on this video because I'm sure there will be a lot of questions on this specific topic. And if you like what you see, please smash that like button. Don't smash as hard as this guy. Don't break your phone, but please be sure to like this video so we can get it out to more people and make this video as popular as possible. So first, I'll go over the key points that I'm going to be talking about in this video. And first off, the number one that I'm sure you guys are here for is eBay finally admits to flagging accounts in 2019 and the end of 2018. Also, there's a lot of other cool updates that are going on here. It's not just eBay being liars. There's sales tax exemption. You can now get tax exempt on eBay when you're buying things. And there's uh, high return rates. Final value fees are being raised. And there's many other cool updates. So I'll be going over that as well in the following slides. So first off, let's get over. Let's go over what you guys are all here for. And this is eBay is flagging accounts. They finally admit it, and they say it right here in the actual seller update, which the link is going to be down below in the description, and also the link to the drop shipping policy if you haven't read it yet of the new updated terms of service that happened around January of 2019. It says reverse uh, reduced search visibility for sellers who use retailers to ship items directly to buyers. Sellers who use retailers or marketplaces to ship directly to buyers are in violation of our drop shipping policy and will be lowered in search results giving sellers who own their own inventory or who drop ship from wholesalers greater search visibility. So they finally admitted it. They finally admitted what's going on. And the only way to really get around this is either go completely wholesale or also just go manual eBay dropshipping where you aren't connecting anything to the API. You aren't using the common big three retailers like Amazon, Walmart, and Home Depot. And I have said in past videos that I started to use Walmart, but I am making a whole new account, which will actually have a lot of videos coming up about it where I don't use anything. And also on my brand new manual eBay dropshipping store that I started in January of 2019. I hit $30,000 in sales in the first in the on the second month. So the first month I did 15, the second month I did 30 and I didn't list any Amazon, Walmart or Home Depot on there. So you can easily do so too using the suppliers that I provide you guys inside of my course. So, you know, this is what it looks like when you get flagged and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen something similar to this and you know, this is a big no-no. You don't want this to happen and in order to avoid it, you're going to have to go manual dropshipping. So if you didn't know, or in case you didn't know, the dropshipping policy is right here. And I'll summarize it for you. It says dropshipping where you fulfill orders directly from wholesale suppliers is allowed on eBay. Then it says, however, listing an item on eBay and then purchasing the item from another retailer or marketplace that ships directly to your customers not allowed on eBay. So they're basically saying, please don't do retail arbitrage. And the real question here that I'm guessing eBay is going to have to come out with, which they've kind of alluded to in the seller uh, update that they are kind of talking about some future changes in the summer of 2019. Uh, is what means a wholesale dropshipper and what type of contract do you need with them? Is it written? Do you need them to fill out something? Do you need them to provide information to eBay? That's the real question here. That's the gray area at the moment where a lot of the suppliers I'm using right now, I have contacted them, but they aren't really considered wholesalers. They are also retailers that give wholesale prices or things like that, or just retailers that you know eBay really isn't keeping their eye out for. And also this is the eBay API terms of service where this is where you're not allowed to do. 
And what you're not allowed to do is use eBay services to promote or engage in seller arbitrage. For example, automatically repricing eBay listings in response to price changes on competitor websites. So this is why I'm saying that you are not allowed to use API related softwares anymore on eBay with drops between 2019. You are going to get flagged and your account's going to look something like this in the promoted listing impressions, or you're just not gonna be making any sales when you were making them. Usually I've seen that people will get flagged within the first three to four weeks of using softwares of this kind. So it's not all bad though. Let's get on to some of the, uh, the cool updates that eBay is talking about. There is sales tax exemption. So you're gonna get tax exempt for buying on eBay. Just as if you wanted to get tax exempt on Amazon, Walmart or Home Depot or any other type of obscure supplier out there, almost all of them offer tax exemption. You just need to actually kind of, if they don't make it obvious, you need to call them or contact them in some way to figure it out. And I think this is a really great update because if there is a supplier that sells on eBay that doesn't also sell on Amazon, you can then, or if you can't find their items or if it's harder to actually use their actual website or if their website's not supported by one of your repricing tools like SkewGrid or something else out there, you can now use them on eBay or anything out there on eBay. Say it's a wholesaler or something on eBay that only sells on eBay, you can then drop ship their items onto Amazon and get tax exempt. So it says if you buy on eBay and qualify for tax exemption, example, resellers or charitable organizations, then you will be able to get tax exempt on your purchases on eBay, which I think is cool because it will pretty much promote the reverse direction of drop shipping from eBay onto Amazon. Although I know people do do this now, you now will be able to get tax exempt while doing so. Therefore, you know, either making your items more making your items prices more competitive or just making your profit margin higher. And you know I think it's gonna help out in both ways. So there's also raised high, uh, if you have high return rates, the, the fees are gonna be raised. So if you didn't know, I did a, I did this in a video or I talked about this in a video uh, maybe a couple weeks ago where if you have a specific, in a specific category, if you have a high rate of returns, this one is clothing, shoes, and accessories. This is one of my old accounts. If you hit the very high section, which this account did actually hit, then you are going to get an extra 4% fees on that specific category when you sell an item. So if you are drop shipping, like I know the majority of the people following my channel are doing, then you know your margins aren't that high to begin with. So an extra 4% fees is way too much. Like I, I'm sure a lot of us would not be happy with that. But to make matters even worse, they're bumping the 4% to 5% extra fees now. So it's, it's not that hard to hit very high in a category if you are not taking care of your listings. So the best way to do so, make sure first off you're going manual. Second off, make sure that in your manual store, you're paying attention to the items you're selling. You're only selling good items with high, you know, seller feedback or buyer feedback on the website. If you're dropshipping from Walmart onto eBay or any of those suppliers onto eBay, you know, and the item has a two star rating out of five, I wouldn't sell that item anymore. It's not worth it. It's either gonna break or there's something wrong with it. Or there's a manufacturer defect. Don't sell high breakable items like glass things, picture frames, pottery, uh, plates, stuff, stuff like that. I don't sell any of that stuff anymore. Try to go for durable items that have very good feedback on your supplier's website and you're gonna very high you're gonna reduce the rate of returns and refunds and everything like that by you know tenfold. Another thing is also, PayPal just announced that starting in May 7th, which is today, this is my second time recording this video, by the way, which is today that they are not refunding you the 2.9% fees or whatever fees they take from you, whatever your PayPal fees are, they are not refunding you those fees for returns and refunds. So if you have a high rate of returns, first off, not only are you gonna get hit with extra fees from eBay, you're also not gonna get your PayPal fees back either. So in reality, if you're just listing all these items up willy-nilly that like we used to do in 2018, I had 20,000 items up across three stores at one point in time. It's not gonna be worthwhile anymore. You're gonna be getting hit with all these extra fees on the back end that you won't even realize are happening until you realize that you're not making any actual money. It might seem like you're making sales and anybody can post a picture of them with 100,000 in sales. You know, you could put your, your profit margins at 0% and do so, but what is the actual profit margin? If you have high rates of return, if you have crappy items on your store, you're probably not gonna be making any money. So you need to be going manual. You need to be keeping track of all of your items. You know, you don't need a lot of items to be successful with this with 500 items if they're well curated and good items you can make a full-time income with doing that as long as they are good items with high profit margin on the front end and as long as you're not flagged you can achieve those profit margins so there are some other updates they're making some changes to the home and garden category which is just you know the different types of category the names and the descriptions of the categories they are changing that and i do believe that is to align with the epid which is the ebay product identification which is basically the ebay buy box or them copying amazon 
which is was supposed to roll out 100% already, which they announced last year, but it hasn't. Typical eBay fashion. So, I mean, that's not a big deal. I think things will automatically change for you. Updates to managed payments. They said that they integrated PayPal into their managed payments and stuff like that for people that are used to paying with PayPal, but you know now you don't have to 100% use PayPal. Um, I haven't really looked too much into the managed payment sections yet because I haven't moved over to that yet and I haven't had to, but there's more to follow on that topic. There's also percentage refunds, which I believe is going to be similar to a restocking fee. So it says that you can give somebody a refund of a specific percentage. And if you guys did not know, eBay got rid of the restocking fees in, I believe it was May 2018 where there is some way to get a restocking fee now or charge somebody there's partial refunds or partial um, refunds for returns and stuff like that. But the buyer can complain. You will probably get, if they do complain, they'll, they'll probably make you give the money back no matter what. So I think the percent refund is going to be pretty good for the restocking fee part. And I think it's going to be pretty similar. There's also what they alluded to is new seller protections for people with good track record. And this is going to be coming out in 2019. What does that mean? Who knows? But it does seem like eBay is trying to become more transparent with the sellers in saying what they do want, what they do not want. Them admitting that they've been flagging accounts is one example of this transparency. And I hope that over time, they do really start to help out the sellers in more ways than that. You know, I, I mean, people are getting hit with MC011 restrictions all the time. And besides them making a lot of mistakes, I mean, there's no real way to tell if you're going to get it. And the same thing with like, if you're dropshipping on Amazon, they have something called the order defect rate. They pretty much tell you what's going to get you banned. So I think that eBay should and is kind of moving towards that way, but there's only time will tell and we'll be, there's more to follow on that as well. And that they said that there's also promoted listing and volume pricing updates. So they said that anybody can do promoted listings now, whether you have a store or not, even though I always highly suggest that you do have an eBay store. And that there was some change with the volume pricing updates, but it didn't, it seemed pretty uh, minimal. So I didn't really look too far into it. But you guys can also read it because the link's in the description below. Also, conclusion. So eBay is definitely stepping up their game. They're trying to make their back end more streamlined, trying to make everything more streamlined for the seller and for the buyer and try to make it a more just easy platform to deal with. I think they're trying to really get out of their archaic old ways of their website pretty much being a flea market and moving into the, all right, we're selling new items and other people are going to be able to sell, drop ship and do whatever they want. They just have to follow our rules and they're pretty much rolling these rules out over time, it seems. So they finally admit to flagging their accounts, which is a huge deal because there were so many times and so many people in Facebook groups where I've seen them complaining, oh, eBay, you know, I'm definitely flagged. I called them and they said everything's fine with my account. I even called up reps, told them to look at my promoted listings on my flagged accounts between specific dates. And I'm like, did, does this look normal to you? They're like, no, this doesn't look good. I'm like, all right, then why did this happen? Oh, I have no idea. It must have just been a change in the season. Like if your promoted listing sales drop over 1,000% or impressions drop over 1,000% in the matter of a couple days during the holiday season, that's not just a coincidence. There's obviously something going on and I'm glad that eBay finally admitted it and is trying to be at least semi-transparent with us. And manual eBay dropshipping is the only way to go in 2019. I can't explain this enough. I mean, anybody that's still trying to push API-related software or Amazon onto eBay, it's just not working anymore. Anybody that says it's working is probably lying. I mean, I haven't seen anybody really doing well with it. And if they say that they're making money and, you know, oh, just put your items at 0% on the front end and just utilize all this cash back, I mean, the only way I could see that working is with discounted gift cards. And discounted gift cards are sketchy, and they're usually coming from fraudulent activity. So... I don't want to base a business off of it. And because of all these changes, and because of eBay finally admitting that they are flagging accounts, I know that a lot of you are going to definitely be looking more into manual eBay dropshipping if you haven't done so already. And we did run a discount code last week because of some promotion that we tried to run, but the website wasn't working properly, so people couldn't sign up. So we ran a discount code to people on our email list and people in our many chat bot. But not everybody that follows me on YouTube is on either of those or is on both of those. So I am extending this discount code to you guys on YouTube. It's only going to be on YouTube for the next 48 hours. So this is going to launch on Wednesday, May 8th. And if you get in on the deal right now, it will close on Friday, May 10th, which I believe the date that <laughs> that Friday is. So if you do want to take action right now, you will be able to get the, the course, the, my manual eBay dropshipping course that I've completely redone for 2019. It has over 67 videos and 12 hours of content. You will be able to get it for 40% off or $200 off the original price. So the original price is $497. You will get it for $297 for the next 48 hours only. So if you've been looking into manual eBay dropshipping, or if you've been toying with the idea of jumping in, you know, eBay finally just admitted, and they finally told all of us, 
that they are flagging accounts and that if you do not follow the rules or if you do not find a way to skate under their radar, then you will be flagged and you will not be making money in 2019 with eBay dropshipping. So everything that I've laid out inside of the course is teaching you how to do exactly that, how to get around the system, how to actually make money. You don't have to settle for zero or 1% on the front end anymore. You can get eight, 10, 12, 15%. We had a student just say that in his second month ever dropshipping, he hit 17,000 in sales and I believe his front end margin was over 15%. And that's all just by manual dropshipping and following what I'm teaching inside of the course. So if you are interested and you wanna take action, if you wanna take control of your life, making money online in 2019, then I do have a $200 off promo code for you. It's right here, 200 off. Type that in at checkout and the course will be $297 instead of 497 for the next 48 hours only. So finally, please post your questions below. As I said in the beginning, as little Lego man always says, don't be afraid to ask questions. If you have the question, I can guarantee you 100 other people out there also have that question. So at least be the person to step up ask it for everybody else. And no question is a stupid question. The only stupid questions are the ones that you don't ask. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more information on manual eBay dropshipping throughout the rest of 2019. I have a lot of cool videos and experiments that I'm coming up with in the next month or so. And I'm really excited to show it to all you guys. And if you do subscribe, please be sure to hit the bell button and the bell notification button because you actually will not get a notified by YouTube even if you are subscribed to my channel unless you hit that bell button. And if you wanna see my content the second it comes out and take action on it right away, then hit that bell notification. You will be one of the first people to see it. I can guarantee you that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this information. I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that I went through the boring eBay spring seller update to break it down for you guys because I'm sure a lot of people don't wanna actually read it, including myself, but I did it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my second time recording it and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.